We are here today with Julie Mills Watson, owner of Body of Health, Home of the Lymph Clinic, and we are talking about dry brushing today. So what makes a dry brush such a great tool for lymph drainage, Julie? It's actually the perfect tool because all it does is move skin because lymph is at the level of skin. It's connected to the derma of the skin. It has openings all along the vessel, so when you move skin, you move lymph. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So how do I go about picking a good brush? We well, want to make sure you get a natural brush that's soft. If you get something that's plastic and hard, it's going to scrape the skin. It's going to go past the lymph and not just move skin. So make sure it's nice and soft and with natural bristles. And how do I use it? Well, it's very simple. You go in the direction of the lymph, and the lymph is divided up into quadrants. So this chart really shows it well. You divide it up into quadrants, and you have two major dumping stations. You have the axillaries on the arm, and you have the inguinals down here at the crease of the leg. And you use your navel as a reference point. And so from there you go up to the axillary, and you can do it with your arm. And then from the navel you can go down to the inguinal, and the same on the other side. You can see you're divided up into quadrants. And how does that work with the back of you? Um, everything from the back comes around to the front. So you want to pull it around, and then here you want to pull around. All right. And how often should we do this? At least once a day. I recommend doing it right before a shower. And that way you've got the lymph stimulated, and then you just jump right in the shower, and um, the lymph's going and flowing and doing its thing. That's great. Thanks, Julie. All right.